San Francisco on a normal day. Right here, as you can see, you got tents there, spray paints, the protesters protesting, spray painting buildings. And San Francisco when the dictator of China comes to visits. Look at that, spotless. It's, it's shocking. So the California government will clean up for the president of China, a foreign power that isn't really our best friend, but they won't clean up for their own citizens. Only in Clown World. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to Clown World. Where only things like this happen, but we live in Clown World. So if you haven't accepted it yet, I'm here to help you. Because if you don't accept this, you are a bad person. You're canceled. You're going to get fired from your job. We know this. So as always on these videos, if you cringe, you lose. I'm also trying to prepare you for this Thursday. When you're going to have family members and friends at dinner with the purple hair and the nose rings who think that this is okay, who think that this is a good thing because uh, they lack critical thinking abilities. But I'm preparing you to deal with those people now. If you are ready for today's game of You Cringe, You Lose, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you cringe, you lose, go. I know folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true because it's true. But it's also true for months and months and months prior to APEC, we've been having different conversations. So confirming that they're cleaning up because the dictator is coming. Uh, he had more to say about this right here. Anytime you put on an event, by definition, you know, you, you have people over your house, you're going to clean up the house. You have 21 world leaders, you got tens of thousands of people coming from all uh, around the globe. Uh, what an opportunity to showcase the world's most extraordinary place, San Francisco. Yeah, but what do they think about it when it's in its normal state? That's what I want to know. And and you can't do that for your own citizens? You can't clean up the place for your own people that you govern and steal tax money from? It's really sad, really sad. And I have to say, this guy's going to be president one day, unfortunately. He, he is. It's, uh, it's, it's going to happen. I want to be as happy as the residents of Martha's Vineyard are when they're kicking immigrants off their island. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a pretty blue place too. Hilariously, you know? They love the sanctuary idea, but then when they have to put that idea into action, they dare want nothing to do with it. You're probably not getting a big raise this year, but don't worry. It's for the good of the economy. Aww. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. You get the pizza party at the end of the year. Don't forget. So we got an Amazon truck, and oh man, look at that. Just stealing some bread for their families. And the Amazon driver, this poor driver, is trying to do her job. Comes out, packages getting stolen. Like I said, just stealing bread for their families. So she should understand they're they're not doing anything wrong. Sad, very sad. But clown world, right? Those kids, nothing's gonna happen to those kids. By the way, vegans triggered by a man eating food in the street. Oh yes, I love these videos. Oh, it feels good. You and your small dick and your way. I'm killing animals. And it feels good. <laughs> Give this man a medal. Go, go, go. I can guarantee you. Shame, 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 He's just trying to mind his own business, right? Just eating some, some meat on the street. <laughs> Again, give this man a medal. Uh, these protesters, they should be taken very seriously, of course. They're acting totally sane. Uh, this is, they're some of the, the head gestures, head clowns of Clown World. Respect them. Can you not touch my car like that? Can you give me a phone, please? What? Can you give me a phone? I want to send a text. What are you doing sitting outside this house? What are you doing? I live here. You don't live here? What are you doing? Can you get your hands off my car, please? No. Please. What are you doing? Leave. Go away. What are you doing? Go away. I feel where we 
Zimbabwe, you stupid little pimp. Get away from here. Yo, what is going on over there? What is in the water in the UK? Were you eating meat on the street? Was she at the vegan protest? That was terrifying, dude. Uh, careful out there in the UK. I know we have a lot of viewers over there. I'm, I'm worried about you. There's a lot of crazies here too, but just careful out there. That's straight zombie right there. Woke teachers try to ban to kill a mockingbird in schools. Uh, this has happened in... This book is always... It's been controversial for a long time because it, it says the N-word. But the, the whole premise of the book is a pretty important one, right? I don't know why you'd try to cancel that. Why would you try to cancel this book? This is this is a iconic book, a pretty important book. But again, critical thinking skills, not all there all the time. I was talking to a female friend and she was telling me how lonely it is for her to be working with only men in her team because they all maintain a respectful distance from her as they don't want to come off as creeps, not realizing it's completely isolating. Well, you have the Me Too movement to thank for that. Um, because everything could be translated as an aggression these days. You know, props to these fellas, though. Seriously. When did McDonald's get the right to sell one hash brown for almost $2.50? My husband and I went and ordered three hash, three orders of hash browns, not look at the price because we just thought I had it. Our total with tax came to be like over $7 for three Freaking hash browns. Well, I could, I, I'm going to guess, okay, A, inflation, obviously, and B, they have to pay their workers 20 bucks an hour, which translates into higher prices. And that's more, I think that's just in California at this point. But a hash brown. So let's say three hash browns. Maybe that equals one potato? Maybe? What is a potato? 20 cents? Maybe? How the hell are they charging that much for a hash brown? How did she obtain those animals to grill? What? Hey, whoa. What? Oh, where is that? That's in New York. What's going on here? Dude. I don't know exactly what that is, but that looks like what it looks like. Um, careful out there at the street vendors in New York. That's all I'm going to say. That looks scary. First date and she started vlogging. No. Oh man. All right. You know what? I understand. I'm in the business of creating content, right? But bringing this to a public place, I, that's the part I don't understand. You know, bringing in a whole setup like this. What do you, what are you doing? And uh, dude, if that actually is true, if that's on your first date, get the hell out of there. Leave. I, mm, get that pain. Yeah. Make Women a statement. Did not get the vote by voting. Mm -hmm. It is time for deeds and not words. Mm -hmm. It is time to just stop oil. Oh, uh, shut up. Politics. Just is stop oil. I just, I, I say it every time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying it. I love these people. They're making a statement. Now, you know, they break the painting, then they get their voice heard. I, don't, I literally don't even care about what you have to say because everything you do after acting like a child is null and void. When you when you have a tantrum like this, whatever you say doesn't matter. The point here is this is entertaining. This is funny. It's it's hilarious to see them think that they they have an important voice. Stop. Oh, you. <laughs> That's gold. It's content gold. Washington, D.C. CVS replaces shelves of toilet paper with framed photos of products amid rising thefts. This is the world we get to live in, folks. Yeah. You know, parents, schools, they don't teach how not to steal. And this is what we get all get to live with. So congrats to everyone. Is this a serious question? You're asking me if I truly think that the country is in better place now than it was when Trump was president. <laughs> yes, I do. Of course I do. And of course, <laughs> Biden has spent much of his time cleaning up the sh that your fat nope. president, Nimrod, stupid criminal, oh, did to damage this country for so many years. Ooh. And we're still cleaning up. Not only are we cleaning up governmentally and policy-wise, but we're cleaning up the <laughs> on the streets because you racist 
keep shooting everything, shooting Dude. everybody, and basically being prejudiced about egg against anybody who doesn't look like your white skin and blue eyes. So do I think doesn't this country is in a better place than it was when Trump was president? A, yes, I do. You cannot change my mind. Don't even try because the facts are there. Do some research, factual research, not Oof. opinion now, facts. A very serious person, and you should take her opinion very seriously. Very respectable opinion. Um, do your research, folks. Do your research. Uh, this is exactly, you know, and she said it at the end. It's not even worth your time. She's not worth your time. Most of these people are not worth your time. These people that you're going to be having Thanksgiving with when they start acting like this, because they will. They, most of them do. Uh, that mental health thing, it's like all single liberal women is the highest mental health diagnosis. It explains a lot. It's not worth your time because you won't change their mind. They will continue to act nuts. They they have the presidency and they're still acting like this. What the hell is your problem? Like, what, what are you freaking out about? With COVID back and winter approaching, is it safe to dine indoors? I'm going to say yes. Yes, it is. What a stupid article. I have a problem with gender neutral bathrooms. There, I said it. Most of the time when I go into a gender neutral bathroom, somebody has just taken a big stinky dump. <laughs> At some point, cisgendered people figured out that they now had a nice private bathroom where they could go and take all of their dumps. <laughs> it's gross. Use your own bathrooms. Hey, anyone can use them. What the hell? Uh, and of course, you're going to pick the private bathroom? Why wouldn't you? This is <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, so there you go. There's the secret, folks. You have a private bathroom at all times now. Anyone can use them. In my daddy's belly. Wow. There's a book for you. There's a book for your kids, you know. Get it on the Dolly Parton list. Just kidding. Don't do that, Dolly. Don't be like that. I know she's not. If you have not yet, if you have a kid... The Dolly Parton program, it's unbelievable. You don't know what that is? Google it. It's phenomenal. Dallas retailers lock up items after shoplifting soars 73% in six months. Mmm. 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 Again, what a world we're living in, folks. This, this is what uh, people want to live in. It's very sad. Well, I watched it before. I watched it as a kid. I watched it as a senator. I watched what happened in my community. <laughs> it changed everything. Joe, calm down. Stop getting angry, Memphis. I watched it as a senator. I watched what happened. I watched what happened. Good dude. You know, I don't know if that's a symptom of something. That's a very bizarre, like, mid-sentence emotional escalation there. <laughs> Joe, calm the hell down, man. I said, watch what happened. The term obese is a slur. Violence. Dehumanizing. It's anti-black. It's actually a medical term. It, it truly is a medical term. Um, you know, you can make it into something that makes you feel good, feel special, feel important, gives you purpose, but that's just, it's its a fake, false purpose. So, signature block pronouns. Wow, is it, this is the Air Force. Man, I wonder why they're ha This is a, looks like a briefing. Looks like a real briefing that they put out there. I wonder why our military is having trouble recruiting people. It's not just this, not this stupid wokeness in the military, but uh, this definitely is not a military I want to serve in, sadly. This is what has seeped into our institutions, unfortunately. Dwayne Johnson has been approached about running for president. Oh, please, no. No, stop. Can we just... No. 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 How does a country trillions of dollars in debt keep giving billions of dollars in financial aid to other countries? called a money printer keep it on high at all times if they don't do this the, the debt tower collapses you know but i'll let you do your own uh investigating on that anyone who's against trans women competing in sports should be arrested i speak for all americans when i say trans women are women and that's the way they should be treated i can't is this satire i hope this is satire Sadly, I'm sure there's probably people out there like this. Tell me why it just took me an entire hour for this, this single bag of items. I'll tell you why. It's because they're essential. And apparently now my Target locks away all essential items. So while you could get like $40 La Roche-Posay or 
makeup that was sitting out. My $8 body wash was locked away, as was my deodorant and my husband's body wash and his razors and like the basic things that I went to Target to get. Behold, the dystopian nightmare. Yeah, you, didn't you vote for this? Now. I'm pretty sure I've seen this account. Yeah, I think you voted for this. Why are you complaining about it? This is what you want. Was planning on perusing the fall items, maybe sniffing a candle or two, maybe buying what I didn't need. But I was Defund literally police, fighting for my right? life in that store. I was so desperate to get out of there. And then when I finally get to the I end, can't listen to this there's a... Yeah, you voted for this. You voted, you, yeah, defund the police. Um, you know, just, it's they're stealing bread for their families. You supported that. You absolutely did. This is a, you reap what you sow. That's what they say. Cigarette style climate warnings on food could cut meat consumption, study suggests. Animals suffer when you eat meats. Uh, I don't care what you put on there. I, I, that is not happening. In, in my household, we're going to continue to eat a lot of meat. So do whatever you want. Waste your time, waste your money. But Matt Petcrave gets standing ovation from fans in team's first home game since fatal. Adam Johnson hit. Uh, and ironically, Sally, the next day, he got arrested. He's out on bail currently. Got arrested for manslaughter. Very, one of the worst, most grotesque videos I've ever seen in my life. It's good that they're investigating it and they actually arrested him. It led to an arrest. So, that, very sad story. Couple with identity disorders who have over 400 personalities between them reveal they sometimes go a day without eating because their child alter egos don't know how to cook. That's from 2018. That is, I mm, wonder where these people are now. Probably bashing paintings and who knows. That's, that's bizarre. Foreign TV crew robbed while covering Apex Summit in San Francisco. <laughs> Ah, oh, that city should be so proud. <laughs> that really happened. I am who I say I am, and you are who you say you are, and sometimes we are wrong about who we think other people are. That's okay. Don't assume you can always just ask which pronouns do you use. He, him, she, her, they, them, these, or let me know, let me know which one do you prefer. Know who's teaching your kids. What's going on here? Oh, come on. I've seen this, not this crazy before. I've seen the spikes on tires down in Texas. Why? Why do you, why, what's the point of this? It's not even a cool car. What is that? A freaking Honda Accord? Can't even tell. Weird, man. I just don't get it. And I can't believe that's legal. Maybe that is a cool car. That's a Beamer. Yeah, it's all right. It's not that bad of a car. Weird, dude. Weird. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Nice little flashback here. These people exist, and they're going to have Thanksgiving dinner with you here soon. So um, if in this case, that's someone I would definitely laugh at to their face. You know, I'm feeling a little confrontational these days. Can you tell? Explain why this painting is worth $300 million. Uh, money laundering? Tax breaks? Some, you know, somewhere in there? Tax write-offs? That's exactly why it costs $300 million. Mega and Christian nationalism. Bigger threat to America than Hamas could ever be. Yeah, real headline. <laughs> These people, uh, they get to vote, sadly. A reminder that unless someone tells you their gender, you literally have no way of telling. And yes, <laughs> that includes your own children. <laughs> I don't care how young they are. There you go, folks. There you go. You don't know. You have no idea if you ever ask. <laughs> That's genuine gold, genuine content gold. Burbank, California, 11, 15 p.m. Waiting to charge your electric car. So you want to uh, charge your car, huh? Well, mm -hmm. don't come here. You'll be here till 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. and that's just the cars that are getting charged. And this is the line of the cars wanting to get charged. Mm -hmm. And this is the great hoax to get rid of gasoline so that you can go sit in a line for a long, long and plug time. your car in. Mm -hmm. This isn't a joke. This is the real thing. It's 11.15 at night. And these are the people who probably, I guess, can't get home. And Sad. they're just sitting in their cars. Look at and this line they're here. just waiting and waiting and waiting. Wow. Uh, and the, the absolute irony, the best irony of it is... 
that's probably a coal powered electric grid. So you get to wait all the time and it's not truly green. Uh, and then here's my favorite part. How do you recycle those batteries? What happens when you have to recycle those things? Same with solar panels. How much do you got to pay? How, where does that go? Does it ever get truly recycled? Green. American IQs are dropping. Here's why it might not be a bad thing. Whoa. Is that a real headline? <laughs> How? Oh, maybe they're, it, they're dropping. It's not a bad thing. The, the dumber they are, the more they will comply, I guess. It, maybe that's where you're coming from. I just checked my student loans because I needed to get the information to someone. And what the f I started with 80000 I have been paying for 10 years. Last year, I paid 6000 lump sum because that's really the only way to get it low. Uh, that took it down to 76000 after I've been paying for nine years. The grand total is I have paid $120 thousand dollars and i still owe 76 how the f is this possible what mm. it's actually sad i mean I'm, I'm not even gonna make fun of this lady because a lot of people get sucked into this situation you must have deferred your loans or something for a period of time that's the only thing that makes sense it's it's a trap it is a it is an absolute trap do not take out a hundred thousand dollars in student loans for a job that is not even guaranteed, you're getting a piece of paper, doesn't mean you're gonna get a job that's gonna help pay that off. It truly doesn't. You've been lied to 100%. I'll say it over and over again on this channel. Do not do this to yourself. It is a hole that a lot of people cannot climb out of. Twitch star making beer with her own... <sighs> Come on, really? And you wrote an article about it, now we're having it on this channel? Get out of here. This is Don Angeron wife to the judge in the civil case against Trump in New York. I wonder why she just locked her accounts. Oh, wow. F Trump. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Again, totally sane people. Um, that trial is a complete joke, by the way, if you haven't followed it. For those who need to hear this, you aren't special. You aren't going to be the hero who saves everyone. You literally would not be able to defend yourself. In a 2022 study of mass the Crime Prevention Research Institute found that civilians stopped at least 34.4% of active shooter incidents from 2014 to 2021, excluding free zones where civilians would not be lawfully armed. That number increased to 51%. Wow, 51% when you arm yourself and prevent further damage. That's... I love the fact check. This is my favorite part about Twitter now, is the fact checks. It's the middle of the day, I completely understand, but I just had a really harrowing experience at work. I have this one coworker who simply refuses to use the correct pronouns for me. I've called her out every time she misgenders me, and she just is resigned to not change. And today just broke something in me. I just snapped. I ended up yelling at her after the third time she misgendered me, and within like 30 minutes, like, they, they, I use they, them pronouns. And she got so defensive. And I just started explaining to her, like, I'm sick and tired of this like you need to at least make an attempt and you need to she you need to make an off, attempt got upset got defensive what are you gonna do about it and i just said i'm gonna be really hurt and sad like oh. that's all i can do about it and the worst part is that at that point my boss who claims to be so woke and like happy and joyous and making a safe positive environment for everybody gangs up on me with her and says, like, this is, Carson, like, shut up. This is not the time for a political statement. <laughs> and I was upset, rightfully so, but was t trying to take such a level-headed approach to it of, like, this is not a political statement. My identity is not a political statement. It's just my identity. All mm -hmm. I'm asking you to do is respect just, that. We're going to end it there. I can't watch any more of this. Um, this, folks, this is why you ask the pronoun question on every single survey if you're hiring somebody. What are your pronouns if they, you know, that company just wasted time doing this. A lot of time. Wasted a lot of time not working, not being productive because of this. 49ers defensive end Eric Armstead shares a game check. He makes $393,000 a game. 49.3% comes out in taxes. Part of that is because he lives in San Francisco. He plays there. Well, that's what happens absolute scam and then he gets to go buy things and pay taxes on the things he buys tragedy but we let it happen right how'd you do 
in today's video. Did you cringe at all? If you did, you lose. And you gotta share your favorite clip with uh, the crazies over the holidays. That's what you gotta do, that's your punishment. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is education. For the children. Idiots. Thanks for watching today's show. If you have not yet, head over to Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Target or Walmart and check out my new book, Trailer Park Parable, and pre-order your copy today.